Hey everybody, Cardboard Jesus with you. Welcome. We're gonna do the Don Russ Basketball 1718 five box quarter case uh, break number ten. So let's slide this, this way again. I just grabbed five boxes out of that case. I'm not uh, not looking to drag the whole thing over here, frankly. We will go back box by box. Since it didn't really work out last time, we'll see if it works out this time. Ten cards per pack. So I am a little bit interested in looking at limited here soon. I'm hoping it's straight fire and then everybody just like jumps on the RiftCityCards.com full case break bandwagon of it as they should. We have the red and have 28 left, and it's still many, many fine teams available. I'll make sure to get the uh, email out tomorrow on that. Probably gonna also have to announce shortly the uh, Facebook uh, group thing that we're gonna have to do. That I think I mean, think about this. Now, Facebook, like for the group, I can have different people as like administrators and moderators and whatnot of the group. I'm thinking about enlisting some help. Finding some folks that uh, would be willing to, you know, do the hard work on that. Yeah, I think the people that didn't like it were just, like, not fans of Limited. Because, I mean, I, I get you can not be a fan of something. Uh, you already have, Tomas. You already have. By, by even being in the room and hearing that, you've uh, been, been pulled into it. Gary Harris to $2.99. Because the problem, like the problem with Facebook, is I don't have Facebook. I don't know anything about it. If I had wanted to keep up with those uh, a holes from high school and college, I would have. But I did not. So it's uh, it's it's one of those things. I mean, it's I figured it out pretty quickly. Chris Dunn to one ninety nine for for doubles. It's not a hard system. All right, I have decided that I am going to leave the trouble of flipping these things to the ladies. Kazuma, OG. Somebody actually bought all of the uh, veteran base out of this. If you can, if you can believe it, they did. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Facebook seems like an easy way to get, you know, more people involved. Let's say, Lonzo Ball, the rookies. I don't know, just not being part of it is a little bit, you know, a little bit weird. Like, I don't, I don't need the government, you know, seeing, seeing what I, seeing what, I, what my breaks are and stuff. 
The one thing I, I have seen, like, this, like I've noticed, like, a little bit weird is, that, like, most of the bigger breakers have closed groups. Like, that you can't just, like, freely see what's going on. So, like, I don't know what kind of weirdness they're doing. Canard to 199 for the Pistons. And I don't really want to, like, apply to be in the group because I'm afraid I'll be busted as somebody, you know, trying to figure out what's going down. Glen Hill, Swatch Kings. Game worn for George Hill. What? Markeith Morris, a two nine nine for the Washington Wizards. Did you hear Kevin Love say that he thinks he probably got taken last in the uh, All-Star draft? And I saw uh, Simmons drop, a, uh, drop another triple-double. I've actually been 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 watching some of them some of them sports things, you know them them sports games that uh, go on, or at least the recaps of them. A signatures for the Milwaukee Bucks, Sydney, Sydney Moncrief, old school. His shorts are currently shorter than my underwear are right now. I'm gonna say it. I'll say it again. That's crazy. I mean, have some have some decency, old old folks. What happened to old school values that you're wearing shorts like that around town? I mean, come on, man. come on. Well, I mean, I think he was joking, honestly, like more than anything. But I just thought it was, I mean, I just thought it was funny. Like he, he was, he was laugh. He wasn't like crying about it. He was, he was just like, hey, that somebody asked, like, hey, where do you think we, you were taken in the draft? He's like, probably last, man. I think his chiseled good looks are just too much for the NBA. He should be modeling somewhere. A Biza, you know, or something. Maybe uh maybe he could turn turn into a DJ like Ronnie Cycli did. Come off, did you know that Ronnie Cycli from a uh, Miami Center fame is now like a actual legitimate DJ like EDM DJ and not terrible I've listened to him on Sirius a couple of times I, I'm dead serious. Dead serious. No, I I think he's got himself like a decent career. Cause I mean, I seriously, I was listening to like one of those dance channels one day, and it came up like DJ Ronnie Cycli. And I was like, come on, I was like that is not Ronnie Cycli. I did a, a quick Google search, and yeah. Ronnie Cycli is a, is a full blown legitimate DJ.
I don't know. I feel like Cycli was probably smart with his money. I don't know. For some reason, I think he was. Or, or he very well could not be. Who knows? Fultz, the rookies. You really need to mix yourself up in this fashion. Amir Johnson to 99 for the 76ers. The 76ers. I don't know. I guess just he, you know, he found love in music. But you should seriously, uh, seriously look him up. He's not, but he's not bad. I mean, the last time I, the last time I listened to him, it was like mostly house. You know, just like some pretty straight house music. But uh, it is what it is. Otto Porter, Washington Wizards, two ninety nine. I have not watched a bat an NBA basketball game since like week one of this season. I guess I should be watching more of it, but I just don't. I hear Jesse sometimes, like listening to some of his, uh, some of his old breaks, you know, spouting off all of his, all of his knowledge on, uh, on NBA. I mean, how is this guy for the Rockets doing? Is he the next Yao Ming? Because he does not look like the next Yao Ming. But I don't know. I don't even know how to say his name, frankly. Kyle Lowry. Swatch Kings. Toronto Raptors. I, I saw, like... A couple of weeks ago, like the pictures of them, but I didn't know that they were like actually gonna like actually putting those out. I thought they looked pretty sweet when I saw them, like legit, like they were like tight. If they if they actually put those out for sale, like they'll sell a bunch of them in Miami. Like, they were slick, but I for a long time, like I was not even sure if it was like just a you know like somebody mocking something up or if it was actually going to be like a for real jersey. Eulis to uh, 199. I mean, you got to you got to love and respect the Miami Vice. You got to. Brooke Lopez, Lakers to 299. Wade Baldwin at signature. Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah, see, that's I, I don't care enough about the Heat to be mad or not mad at wins and losses. Now, when we had LeBron, oh, I watched I watched a lot of games. But now, like, eh, you know. I just, like I, I'm on. I'm, I subscribe to the Miami Heat uh, subreddit on Reddit, and you know, and I'll catch you know people you know either bitching about the game or you know spouting us spouting off some stat that says like the Miami Heat are really good in like various situations, but just the record doesn't show that they're good. I don't know. I 
I don't know, it's been a couple of years since I've even been to a Heat game. But honestly, like, I mean, one of the bigger reasons I would not go to Heat games is because it's a bitch to drive and park there and stuff. And the wife and I went and saw the Killers at the arena on Tuesday. And we took the train. Like, there, like, the train station is, like, I can see it from the window. Like, the last stop in the in the Miami Metro Rail. We got on the train and took it, like, to the to the American Airlines. It, it really couldn't have been easier. I mean, it, I think it cost us, like, five bucks each to, to go both ways. So I would consider... Going back to the arena, knowing that I can get there via train, but I probably still never go. Unless does LeBron come back to Miami when he leaves Cleveland after this year, or is he just going to straight go to LA? Which one's it going to be? I don't, I don't think he's staying in Cleveland. He really should have never left Miami. We ain't got no state sales or state uh, income tax. Any kind of money you're saving on that? Ooh, <laughs> him and Pop. I listen. I, for no real reason, like the Spurs. Like I, I love Greg Popovich. I love his attitude. I love all of it. So I mean, if he went to the Spurs, I wouldn't be mad. Twenty-two left in the absolute. Uh, Thomas. <sighs> Probably tomorrow. I mean, I've the problem is I'm doing like kind of back to back breaks on the eBay until like ten, I think. But I mean, if if we're down to twenty two, there's a chance. I mean, I mean, we definitely and again, I mean, it's it's un, I mean, unadvertised. It's just you know, like it was just thrown in the store. You know, late today, so I mean, it, it may, it we may make a run at it. We just, you know, we got to see like if we if we can get some people in the room, you know, then it's, then it's definitely possible. But I mean, I, I I think if it doesn't if it doesn't sell today, tomorrow is like a no question. Especially with a lot of the uh, early reports that I'm hearing about it. Uh, Delaney, Hawks to two ninety nine. I'm gonna break five boxes of it uh, here in a little bit off of eBay to get a little, just a little taste, a little look, see it uh, at it. But I definitely don't. It's definitely not one that's gonna sit in the store for uh, forever. Kazuma to one ninety nine. Lakers press proof. I mean, if we can get some eyes in here, then we can, you know, we can always do a filler for it. You know, we actually, my, uh, my uncle-in-law, I guess, my wife's dad's brother was a like a maitre d or he still is a maitre d at like a very like fancy restaurant on the beach and like he got like some floor seats like what i mean they were like like behind like literally behind the uh the opposers the opposing team's bench so i mean it, as 
as close to floor as you could get without being on the floor. And he gave them to the wife and I to go, like, one time. That was when I lost my dream of uh, somehow, like, getting in shape and becoming an NBA player. When I saw how big and how fast those guys are, like, at a, at, like, a, you know, same level that you are. Well, Tom, Thomas, we'll get we'll get it done before she gets that uh, notification. I mean, it, if if she gets like the text notifications, maybe we'll grab her phone. But it'll definitely be done before that statement rolls through. Like, there's there's no issue there. I have never seen bigger, faster human beings. Donovan Mitchell to two ninety nine, than than watching that game from like floor level. And he got the same deal for some uh, Panthers hockey tickets. Pfft, I can't skate and never had like dreams of skating, but dang, those people are are fast and mean. Frank the Tank signatures for the Hornets. All right, so maybe grab her phone, Thomas. Maybe grab her phone. Just tell her that tell her that you're looking at porn on it. She'll be so taken aback, she won't know what to say when you say that. That you'll have time to delete any text message that uh, you know is saying that her credit card was used, and then just be like, ah, joke, and then give it back to her and walk away quickly. Blake Griffin, Jersey Kings. No, and that, yeah, and do I like hockey? Like I enjoy watching it. I don't, which is weird. Like I, I don't watch it, but I like the game. Like I, my, my best friend is a huge Lightning fan. Like he lives like outside Orlando and watches them religiously. And like from him, like I've watched enough to like actually understand the rules and how stuff gets played a little bit i mean not you know not the intricacies but i understand like lineups are for certain things and you know you've got certain people attacking certain people on defense kind of deal same with soccer like like i learned that watching world cup but it's a fun i mean it's a nice game bamba 199 for the hawks i wish there was like a you know, like a triple A squad, like whatever, whatever triple A is for hockey, you know, like here, like I, I would go to some like minor league games, minor league. That's the word. All right. We got two more. Dollar beers and hockey, and it's cold, which to me is like the best thing. Like, I am constantly hot, so if you're in some place it's cold and you got beers and you're watching sports and you're seeing fights. It's like a wet dream. I had a friend and I used to go to the track 
down here like the dog track I, I generally don't agree with like racing animals like I don't just I don't know I'm too much of a hippie that way but they have 50 cent beers on like Thursdays or something so it was, it was too much to too much to pass up All right, and here we go with box number four. Does not have the same uh, cachet as, uh, say, like a flawless basketball or an immaculate. But Donruss has its place. Chandler Parsons to two tonight. You can't get a Chandler Parsons to two ninety nine. In uh, in flawless, so there you go. That's why Don Russ is better, and that's and that is science, my friends. That is science that I have just learnt you, <laughs> Chris. I you're right. You're right. I mean, I, I, at one point, I, because I had not won a single bet that I put down I went on one race and I bet on every single dog I won congratulations to me actually I actually won a bet at the track Ricky Rubio press pass to 199 for the Jazz so I can say that I have won at the track there used to be a guy that uh, they would come in here a younger kid Younger kid, like was on breakers, who uh, was like into horse racing. Like was actually like went to high, like went finished high school, went to college like part time, and was like trying to be an agent, like a horse agent, you know, a jockey agent. Nerlens Noel, Back to the Future. Bosox General, yes, Andy. I think his name was Andy. I've not seen him in forever. I, don't, I think he probably just hates Uncle Jesse. Or he may be dead. I don't know. One of the two. He was. I know he was going back to school a little bit. He was working at a hospital part-time. Like he, he had a lot of stuff going on, but he was he was into the into the horse racing. Never understood it myself. Although we have like a beautiful track in Miami, like they redid it a couple of years ago. It is gorgeous. A ton of like, uh, like dining and like uh, shopping all around. It's a beautiful place if you ever make your way down here. But I, eh, I mean, my thing. Both sides, General. How are you doing? Harness racing? What? What the hell's wrong? I mean, what's what's the what's the difference? Harness racing? You're in a in a little cart. At least you're not on the horse's back, right? Those I will mention again. We do have a limited football release day today. Full case. Go bear. To 99 for the Jazz. 15 box PYT in the store. Prices are very solid. Very solid. 30 autographs are coming out of it at minimum. At minimum. Thomas Bryant to 299 for the Lakers. Eighty percent of the PC. Why? Why? Although I have sold a couple of cards off of uh, eBay that I forgot I even had listed. An Immaculate uh, Manny Machado. And I got somebody very interested in some flawless old man card that uh, I don't, I can't remember. Not, I can't remember. Well, I mean, wh why get out of the hobby? I mean, what, there's... Why do you want... Who is who is pressing you out? 
Who is pressing you out? And why is it your girlfriend? Because that ain't because that ain't cool. I mean, you can enjoy stuff. Just come, hang out, see some breaks. Tim Hardaway Jr., Atlanta Hawks. No, I can understand that. I can, I can appreciate that. I mean, I would miss seeing you. From time to time, like I, it, it, I honestly light up, and I'm not even joking. I light up a little bit when I see Bosox General on the uh, on the thing pop up because you're a good, you're a good dude, and we have some uh, fun conversations with each other. But I get it, I get it. I mean, listen, I uh, I quit doing uh, cocaine frankly, because it was costing me too much money and I didn't do anything with it after I bought it. You know? You know what I'm saying? You know? So I, I get it. I get it. All right, last box. I mean, you know, I don't know. You just, you know, you just work like work, just work a PC. Tomas, look at you. Pump and honest. here. I'm talking about uh, you know, not doing drugs, and you're actually trying to uh, sell sell things. See, that's, well, see, like, with a PC, like, I feel like you kind of, like, I mean, once you start getting those cards, like, you, you can't get rid of them. That's, I mean, that's why I only, like, would ever get into breaks if it was, like, my team. Like, I never bought to sell. And my and my PC at this point, like basically, all I only get single cards. But folks, I am told that limited is down to twenty-two. We have got some spots sold. I'm going to have to update the board when we're done with this on that. Absolute basketball full case number six, our last case of absolute too, and probably the last case that we will ever get, because the last absolute we got from Bates and this absolute we got from Jasper Sabuland, there will probably not be any more absolute basketball. So if you're interested in that, we got 23 left in that. Uh, Limited there, immaculate. If anybody uh, wants to run the fancy stuff, 28 in that bad boy. And let's see what we've got in here. Lou Williams Clippers to two ninety nine press proof. Dude, did you guys hear that Kobe has been nominated for an Oscar? Have you heard that? A friend of mine, this guy Regis, that uh, you may see on here from time to time, Dougie Buckets to 199. He, uh, he uh, informed me that Kobe has been nominated for an Oscar for a short that he did about a poem that he wrote about basketball. As much as I hate the Lakers, and as much as I hate Showtime, I have a hard time hating Kobe. Trevor Booker, Back to the Future, Jazz Swatch Card. 
That smile is just, you know, infectious. Game worn for Trevor Booker, too. Game worn in Donruss basketball, folks. That's what we're talking about. It's not, not a player worn junk, straight up game worn action. You got to respect it. Well, Bosox General, I mean, I wish you the absolute best on getting rid of it. I hope you get maximum dollars for it. I hope that you are able to cleanly extricate yourself from the breaking world, if that's what you want to do. Jonathan Isaac, rated rookie to 99, Orlando Magic. I think Uncle Jesse just pulled a 101 uh, from his out of Limited, I believe it was... Women or absolute, you know, have absolute not too long ago. Ben Simmons to two ninety nine press proof. Who is actually balling out hard here lately? Did has has anybody looked at the uh, actually looked at the uh, like All Star team like lineups and since they did it like as a draft this year like LeBron went all big like all big like it's gonna be five seven footers basically on on the court at all times like just holding their hands up blocking shots. If I gave like even a half of a rat's ass, I might even actually watch that game. Dave Cohen's to 40 Boston Celtics. Indeed. Indeed. And that was the break my friends let's do a quick recap autograph and uh swatch wise 11 out of 40 dave cohen's boston celtics we got a trevor booker back to the future for the jazz swatch a tim hardaway significant signatures for the uh, atlanta or for, no for the knicks for the knicks sorry a uh, Nerlens noel sixers swatch jersey kings blake griffin clippers Frank Kaminsky, Hornets, significant signatures autograph. Wade Baldwin, Grizzlies auto. Swatch King, Kyle Lowry for the Raptors. A Sidney Moncrief, Bucks auto. And a George Hill, Swatch King for the Kings. Thank you, everybody. We'll get this right out to...